What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at another iOS 7 Cydia tweak, and it is called Hidden Settings 7. Now basically what this tweak does is it enables the hidden springboard settings uh, in which Apple uses to adjust things, as you can see it says right there, springboard settings, it's a new little section within your control center after you install this tweak, so if we select on that, uh, let me back out here, I was actually playing around with the control center options, uh, but as you guys can see, there's a whole ton of different settings you guys can actually mess around with. And uh, I was in Control Center here. You can change the alpha, uh, disable alpha, highlight alpha. There's so much stuff in here. And uh, a lot of it, I don't even really know what it is until you actually change it. And you see the changes take effect. So that's kind of cool. Um, so you can see highlight color. If we change that to, uh, let's change it to green. Go ahead and click done. As you guys can see, the highlighted buttons within Control Center have changed to green or no longer white. I was also messing with the bounce effect of Control Center. So as you can see, it bounces way up. And that was another thing that I was messing around with in here. Uh, so if we back out, as you can see, there's parallax, there's folders, icon animations, uh, options with the lock screen, app slider, so on and so forth. Just a ton of stuff you guys can do. Um, you're going to really have to play around with it to figure out what everything does. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and jump into Cydia and show you guys how to get this uh, tweak. So now once you're in Cydia, all you have to do is search for Hidden Settings 7, as you guys can see how to spell it right there. Uh, this is a free tweak. It is from the Big Boss repo. Obviously, it does require iOS 7, and uh, it does show the internal springboard settings for Apple by Control Center. And that's pretty much it, guys. All you got to do is click on Install, and then you guys got a whole bunch of different settings you can play around with. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, definitely throw me that thumbs up. That does help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more Jailbreak Tweak coverage for iOS 7 like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.